So then guys, this is crazy. In the last couple of days, we've had loads of leaks in for the next generations of iPhones. As you can see from this chart here, we have everything for the iPhone 17 and even the next generation iPhone SE. But today I want to primarily talk about the brand new iPhone 17 Slim. This is like the newest design iPhone we have had ever since I would say the iPhone 12 kind of generation. And even some people say before, even like the iPhone 11. So this is going to be a big shake up here from Apple and design language what we're going to have for the iPhone 17. This iPhone, and first of all, I think it's obvious. Let's talk about the design. So we've been told that Apple is going to be bringing out a brand new slim design for the iPhone 17 slim. That's what we're going to call it for the moment. This goes back to Apple's course of making all their products nice and slim and thin um, going forward into the next generations of the iPhones. Because over the last couple of generations, the iPhones have got a little bit more thicker. And I think Apple just wants to reverse that. In fact, we actually had an experience of this recently this year with the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro got even slimmer this time around compared to the last few generations. And obviously, that's because of its brand new design, as you can see right here. This pairs with TSMC's brand new kind of SOCs or whatever you want to call them, chipsets, and them being even more efficient now as we go into the future. This doesn't cause as much heat generating and for all this, Apple can actually slim down on their design. And also, like I said, because they're even more efficient here, this means then the battery life can also be around the same as what we got right now. But the main thing is the phone design is going to get slimmer. But how much slimmer, you may say? Well, we don't actually know the exact kind of measurements at this point, but what I would say is probably compared to, say, the iPhone 16 Plus as a good benchmark there, because this is, in essence, the phone that's going to replace. We're not going to get an iPhone 17 Plus next year, as you can see from this chart right here. I would probably say we're probably looking between, say, 10 to 20% kind of slimmer design than what we have with, say, the iPhone 16 Plus that comes out this year, which obviously is based on the iPhone 15 Plus that we have right at the moment. So then guys, I don't know about you, second big change is all to do with the screen technology that's going to be in this iPhone 17 Slim. So, what's most likely going to happen is this new kind of iPhone is going to have a screen size of 6.65 inches. If you know your iPhone Max already, you will know this is just slightly smaller than, say, the current iPhone sort of 15 Plus, or the iPhone 15 Pro Max that we have at the moment. It's 0.1 of an inch smaller or thereabouts because obviously at the moment it's 6.78 and this is 6.65 so it's slightly smaller there what we're going to have with that. But like I said, the screen technology is going to change. What you've got to remember, this slim phone is not going to be a pro iPhone lineup. It's basically an enhanced version of the iPhone 17. And as you see from this chart here, the iPhone 17 is still going to exist in 2025. And the slim, like I keep saying, is going to replace the likes of, say, the iPhone 16 Plus, the iPhone 15 Plus kind of range. That Plus series is going to completely go a brand new sort of advanced version of that. But the other difference though with the screen is that it's also going to be one of the first iPhones out there to be a non-pro iPhone, but will actually have a promotion display which is really exciting to see. This has only been exclusive for anything with a pro name next to it. So, this slim model is also going to get a pro display, which is absolutely awesome to see. We've been told that the actual display is also far less reflective. The display is the centerpiece of any smartphone, and the iPhone 17 Slim does not disappoint. Apple has equipped this device with a display that sets new standards for clarity, color accuracy, and overall visual experience. Super Retina XDR Display The iPhone 17 Slim features a 6.7-inch Super Retina XDR display, which offers an unparalleled viewing experience. With a resolution of 2778 by 1284 pixels, the display delivers razor-sharp visuals and vibrant colors, making everything from photos to videos look stunningly lifelike. Promotion Technology Apple's promotion technology brings a new level of fluidity to the iPhone 17 Slim's display. With a 120Hz refresh rate, every swipe, scroll, and interaction feels incredibly smooth and responsive. Whether you're gaming, watching videos, or simply navigating the interface, promotion ensures that everything looks and feels more immersive. HDR Support The Super Retina XDR display supports high dynamic range or HDR content, allowing you to enjoy movies and TV shows with enhanced contrast, brightness, and color accuracy. 
HDR10 and Dolby Vision support ensure that you get the best possible visual experience with deep blacks and vibrant colors that pop off the screen. True Tone and Night Shift To reduce eye strain and provide a more comfortable viewing experience, the iPhone 17 Slim features True Tone and Night Shift technologies. True Tone adjusts the display's white balance based on the ambient lighting conditions, while Night Shift reduces blue light emission to make nighttime viewing easier on the eyes. Always on display. For the first time Apple has introduced an always on display feature with the iPhone 17 Slim. This feature allows you to see important information such as the time, date and notifications without needing to wake the device. The always on display is designed to be energy efficient, ensuring that it does not significantly impact battery life. Uncompromising durability. The iPhone 17. Slim sets new standards for durability with its advanced glass technology. Apple has once again partnered with Corning to create a glass that is both incredibly strong and exceptionally clear. The front and back panels of the iPhone 17 Slim are made from ceramic shield glass, a material that is tougher than any other smartphone glass on the market. This glass is infused with nano ceramic crystals, which enhance its strength and durability without compromising clarity. Ceramic Shield Glass offers superior scratch resistance, ensuring that your iPhone 17 Slim remains pristine even after extended use. The glass has been rigorously tested to withstand everyday wear and tear, providing peace of mind for users who want their device to look as good as new for years to come. To keep the display and back panel free from fingerprints and smudges, the iPhone 17 Slim features an oleophobic coating. This coating repels oils and makes it easy to wipe away fingerprints, ensuring that your device always looks clean and polished. The iPhone 17. Slim takes smartphone photography to new heights with its advanced rear camera system. Apple has equipped this device with a suite of cutting-edge camera technologies that allow users to capture stunning photos and videos in any situation. The rear camera system of the iPhone 17 Slim features a triple lens setup consisting of a 108 megapixel wide angle lens, a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Each lens is designed to excel in different shooting scenarios, providing versatility and flexibility for photographers of all skill level. Apple has integrated state of the art sensor technology into the iPhone 17 Slim's camera system. The wide-angle lens features a larger sensor with improved light sensitivity, allowing for better low-light performance and reduced noise. The ultra-wide lens offers a wider field of view, perfect for capturing expansive landscapes and group shots, while the telephoto lens provides optical zoom capabilities for getting closer to your subject without sacrificing quality. The iPhone 17 Slim leverages computational photography to enhance image quality and provide advanced features. Smart HDR5 combines multiple exposures to create photos with stunning detail and dynamic range, while Deep Fusion technology analyzes and optimizes every pixel for maximum clarity and texture. Night mode ensures that you can capture vibrant and detailed photos, even in low-light conditions. Apple are not going to release, say, the slim iPhone to be more expensive than a pro iPhone, and then yet have less kind of sort of tech specs inside of it, well, I hate to say this but Apple have done this in the past so if you go back many years ago I'm talking about 15, 16 years ago we used to have the MacBook. This was that plastic white unibody or even before the unibody. And we had also the MacBook Air and we also had the MacBook Pro. And funny enough the MacBook was obviously the cheapest. It was the plastic white unibody one. And yet that was more powerful than the MacBook Air. Yes it was. Cheaper. Then we also had the likes of the MacBook Pro, the 13-inch model, and then that model was even more powerful than the MacBook and also the MacBook Air. But yet, the MacBook Air was more expensive than the base configuration of the MacBook Pro. And that might sound really really odd to you, but the main thing is, the thing is, because Apple were promoting that the MacBook Air was slim, it was sleek, it had a really really cool kind of design to it, and that you're paying for that kind of thinness and that kind of new design technology that they had just bought out at that time. Think this is a repeat here, what Apple are doing exactly the same with the iPhone 17 Slim. It's going to cost more than a Pro Max, yet still, it's not going to have all the best technologies inside of it. But the main trade, obviously, you're getting that new design and also, at the same time you're getting a sort of a slimmer phone. And you know, you can show this off, that's gonna be the main kind of showcase of this phone. Don't expect it to be the most powerful iPhone out there on launch, but like I said, things still could change in the future. Um, 
with specs and things like this. But like I said, this has happened in history before with Apple where they've done such a thing like this. So just be warned that that could happen. If you still want the best iPhone out there, it probably will be the iPhone 17 Pro Max. But really guys, that is everything we have on the new iPhone 17 Slim. Are you excited about this iPhone? Are you going to be getting your hands on it when it comes out? Or maybe you're going to get a different iPhone? Then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also guys, it's time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye-bye.